What's going on guys? The Truth Be Told 92 here and I'm doing a review about the video um, of Nancy Grace interviewing the man whose son was missing for 11 days and come to find out he was found in his father's basement. Um, I'll put a link to the video. I got it from um, World Star Hip Hop. One of my friends off of Facebook shared it. Shout out to Jade Matthews. Shout out to her. Um, but anyways, I'm watching the video and it's just like... He was, I agree with you, Jade, he was completely thrown under the bus. I mean, Rel wrote it. First of all, you know, Nancy Grace, you have to realize that she's very sensational. Um, she does kind of have a attacking, um, dominant demeanor when she's doing interviews, especially once she feels that, you know, the person that she's interviewing may not be telling the truth or guilty. And... You know, while she's giving the interview, breaking news comes in and it's like, well, you know what? Your son was found in the basement of your house. And his father is just like in complete shock and disbelief. He cannot even believe it. And he's just like, you know, he's just like, you know what I mean? Completely shocked. And some people think it was theatrical in the sense that he probably was acting and we don't know. I'm not going to put any type of um, accusations because as far as I'm concerned they thought the boy was missing for 11 days is it a shocker that he was found in the um, his father's basement yes it is strange um, but as the father stated in the interview the FBI had did a complete um, search of his house police did a complete search of his house his wife and he did a complete search of his house and I'm thinking if the FBI and the police did a search of the house they would have ran into that 11, they would have ran into that 12 year old boy by then, okay? So for him to be missing for 11 days and to just reappear in the basement, <laughs> that was kind of strange. Like, you have to admit, it was weird. Um, and then it kind of, it kind of makes you wonder, is this stuff being fabricated? You know, um, who's lying? You know, is it the mother? Is it the father? I mean, what's going on? Um, and then did the police and the FBI actually do a thorough investigation of the premises to check if the boy was on, it was in the house in the first place? Because, I mean, you're, you're missing for 11 days. That's a week and a half, basically. Uh, and then you just come out of nowhere and you're in the basement. I mean, is this like hide and seek to the fifth dimension? I mean, what is this? So, yes, I do think that, you know, the way the, the way the interview went, um, it, it makes the father look guilty. It does. It makes him look guilty. It makes him look like he fabricated the entire story. It makes him look like, you know, the boy probably was never missing, etc. So I hope they do get to the bottom of this and figure out exactly what happened. How did the boy go missing? How did he reappear in the basement? Um, but that that's my two cents of the whole situation. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Follow me on Twitter at G Ireland, at Stop the Coonery, at Neo Intellects. Hit me up on Instagram at Voyager92. Once again, shout out to Jade Matthews for um, sharing this information with me. And the link to this actual like video of him be finding out that his son was in the basement will be in the link in the description box below. Deuces.